Assalamu alaikum Ramazan Mubarak to all of you you are watching Dine with World and my name is Amina I uh, hope you are all enjoying your uh, days uh, it's a beautiful feeling fasting uh, it's a time where all the family comes together family and friends and you know you have this new strength and bond it's a beautiful feeling um, and uh, we at Dine with World we are going to try our best to um, get rid of your kitchen boredom and bring you exciting recipes because every day we're going to invite some chefs from five star hotels from the Islamabad Marriott to teach you new things to add some excitement into uh, the kitchen and today we have a uh, uh, a lady uh, she loves to make desserts she's a chef at the Islamabad Marriott she's in the pastry kitchen so let's see what chef Amna has to make today uh, hello Amna assalamu alaikum how are you assalamu i'm fine thank you um, I hope you're excited to be yes, here today. Yes. You're going to teach us some nice recipes. Yes, exactly. What's the first recipe? Okay, we are going to make uh, uh, umali. Umali, okay. okay. So basically, it's an Egyptian uh, recipe uh, named on a lady who's actually uh, husband asked her to make a dish. So they have to actually distribute it to the common people. Mm -hmm. So from there now, that is like uh, now famous. Uh, it is actually in now uh, Persia as well, Turkey as well. So wow. very simple recipe. So uh, let's start. Yeah. So uh, I'll just tell you the ingredients. Yes, Amla. sure. The ingredients uh, of making uh, umayali are: you'll be needing milk one liter, sugar one fifty grams, pistachio fifty grams, raisins fifty grams, desiccated coconut fifty grams, cashew nuts fifty grams. Rose water 50 milliliters, puff pastry 200 to 300 grams. Great, Amna. Yes. This is nice. Okay, so let's start. Let's start. First, we are going to put milk in it. Hmm. Sugar. Hmm. And nuts. Okay, you're going to add the nuts now. Yes. So we're adding cashew nuts, raisins, you can yes, add mixed pistachios, nuts. walnuts. It is a traditional Egyptian dessert, but has a rather alarming tale behind its creation. According to folklore, this delightful and filling pudding was named after the wife of a ruler from the Ayyubid dynasty in yes. Egypt. Wow. And uh, people also put cereal. Uh, and coconut and honey in it. Yes. I think that's what the Arab culture likes, you know. Yes, really honey, sweet rose water. If things. you don't like uh, sugar, so you can add honey as well. That's great. So we will uh, let the uh, milk to a little boiling stage, okay? okay? Uh, so that our sugar get dissolved as well. And there should be the nuts. Yeah. Uh, they like uh, they their actually uh, taste should go in the uh, milk as well. and Amna another thing so the wife of the ruler of the Ayyubid Empire in Egypt asked her cook to come up with the most delicious dessert mm -hmm. that they could yeah like yes, you said yes. create and distribute in the country yes and that became became uh, the national dish of Egypt wow yes, yes and you know it's come all the way to Pakistan, Pakistan and so many other so different many countries. other Middle East countries as well. Okay, meanwhile our uh, milk is going to boil. Mm -hmm. Let me give you some information. These are croissants okay. we are having. Yeah. Okay, uh, you can take uh, ready-made puff as mm -hmm. well. Okay, if you are not having croissants, so you can take a ready-made puff as okay. well. Okay. okay, that we are going to put at the end. Because right now if I, I'm going to put it, it's so going to be very soggy. Very, very soggy. So in the mean uh, time, while the, egg, um, the milk is uh, boiling, uh, I'll do a quick recap before I give you some information. We are making Ummay Ali everyone and uh, Chef Amna, would you like to tell them what you did? Okay, uh, I have added milk, sugar and uh, mixed nuts as well mm -hmm. and I am actually just cooking it. Uh, so the sugar get dissolved as well. If you don't like sugar, so you can add honey as well because okay. the pure uh, uh, Egyptian or you can say Arab, uh, Arabic dish, so they use honey. Yeah. So you can uh, add honey as well and uh, that's okay, it. that's great. So, coming back to my nutritional information, let's talk about the eight proven health benefits of dates. Okay, uh, of course, you all know dates have an excellent nutrition profile. They're high in fiber. They're high in disease-fighting antioxidants. Wow! They promote brain health. They are an excellent natural sweetener. 
and uh, of course they're easy to add to your diet and these are just some of the benefits I've told you. Uh, wait a sec, okay. So, when, when I talk about the nutrients, you have fiber, protein, potassium, magnesium, copper, manganese, iron, and vitamin B6. Now, instead of having tablets, which is okay, just have the natural form, you yes, know? Yes, yes. I mean, imagine we have, uh, God is so kind, He's, he's uh, made uh, food that is easily available and very uh, nutritious. Yes. And at times, you don't add it to our diet. Yes. It's only in Ramadan that we have dates, yes. right? I think we just need to make it a habit. Yes, if you I think so. If you take seven or three to four dates, like in a day, so that's a good. That's good enough. Good you know, enough. like uh, I had a, a few Arab friends for Sehri, what they used to do, yes. Amna, they used to have milk yes. and two dates. That's it. That that's was their Sehri. Hmm. And we have parathas and eggs, which is great. But uh, we can also have a date. Let's try and change. Okay, you can add coconut as well. Yeah. Of course, I love coconut, desiccated coconut. So when you're making a traditional mita, uh, Amra, traditional desserts, uh, you're, you're a chef, you know, and chefs like to twist things a little bit, you know, yes. add in something different. So for example, if you make a sheer khorma at home, how would you add that change? Uh, you can add like cinnamon as well. If, wow. if you go for like, even I can add cinnamon powder as well, mm. cinnamon mm. powder. It, it will enhance the flavor yeah. of the uh, whatever we are making. So uh, it depends on the taste process. Yeah, and and, uh, and it varies from person to person. Yeah, as well. yeah. Okay, now I'm going to dish this milk out. Going to add the croissants. The croissants. Mm -hmm. Roughly, like you can say, chop or roughly. Looks very beautiful, and it's the aroma is amazing. Yes. If you add cinnamon powder, yeah. So, oh, so you you like cinnamon as well, yeah? I know cinnamon and puddings and tarts and, and even in chai. It's good for your brain as well. Yeah, cinnamon. that's amazing. Okay, you don't need to overload it. Yeah, okay. okay a little bit liquid should be there. Mm -hmm. So I'll see how much I need more. <coughs> okay, you can add coconut as well. Yeah. Okay. So and you know, uh, honestly speaking, I've seen people uh, at uh, the lunch buffet at the Nadia. Umay Ali is a hot favorite. favorite. It's served during high tea, lunch, and dinner. And refilling. Yeah, it, and it is really delicious. <laughs> so please make this at home. Uh, you are going to love us for teaching you Umay Ali. It's absolutely delicious. Uh, you can pour it in the uh, rectangle mm -hmm. shape tray as well. That yeah. should be oven proof because I'm going to pour it over mm -hmm. here. Then I'm going to top it with whipped cream and then we are wow. going to put it in the oven. We will just on the grill, uh, top grill as well, because we just need to give it a color. Perfect. Okay. So it will be a, it will be crusty, but uh, from inside it will be soft as well. Okay. So I'm going to put this. Wow. We are making umme ali. Um, we'll do a quick recap. We added. We boiled um, milk, sugar, and nuts, right? Yes. And, um, and then we uh, transferred it to a bowl. We added the croissants, okay? You can take ready made coffee as well. Yeah, and you've not added any rose water yet, right? Not you added, she added uh, coconut. I will, I will add it in the end. Okay, she added coconut. Wow. And this is served hot or cold? Uh, both has. Okay. So it will uh, mostly hot. Okay. Mostly hot. So you can you can eat it with vanilla ice cream as well. Wow, that's a great combination. Okay, now I'm going to cover Pipe it. it? Yes. I'm going to cover it with whipped cream.
So when you're baking it, what will happen to the cream, Amna? You just have to give it a color at the top. Okay. The cream will be cooked a little. And have a light brown color. Crusty, yes. Okay. Crusty, but yes, the uh, inside croissant will also get more baked with. Okay, uh, that's bread. great. That's great. So it will enhance the flavor as well. Yeah, you can just add it like this. Doesn't matter. It's nice and creamy and a rich dessert. Yes. Wow. And you know what? You can also eat this for seri. You can. See, you can add cereal as well. Yeah, yeah. So it will be more healthy. Okay, so this is done. We are going to put this in the oven. And uh, this pan actually it will take 20 minutes at mm. least, uh, 200 from the top. Uh, just take it out after 20 minutes. So All right. It will have a proper gold, goldish brown okay, color. Okay, okay, that's great. Wow, this is the final color? Yes. Look at this. It's cold and it's set. You know, it has a nice custody look to it. This is, this is a single serving actually? Yeah. So, this is done. Amna, thank you. This was a very simple and it's very delicious. Uh, it's going to taste fabulous when you make it at home, right? So what's the second recipe we're going to make? Okay, we are going to make konafa. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically the recipe is all about using a filo pastry. So, uh, tell them what the ingredients are, Amna. The ingredients for making konafa are, you'll be needing milk, 500 milliliters, sugar, 100 grams, corn flour, 80 grams, cream, 100 grams, cream cheese, 100 grams, shredded filo pastry, rose water, a few drops. So these are the ingredients of pranafa okay. and it sounds really rich, yes, right? Rich, Green creamy cheese. desserts, yes. Yeah. And the top is crusty because we are using filo pastry here. Yeah. Okay, okay. great. And we're, we're using vermicelli? Uh, you can use. Okay, great. You can yeah. use if you don't have uh, this one. What right is now. this called? This is filo pastry actually. Filo pastry, okay. Yes, this and is this is pastry. available in the market, yeah? Yes, it is easily available okay. but if you don't have, so you can use vermicelli. Okay, well. great. So we are going to put milk. Sugar. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll help you stir it. You can add it, sorry. This is cream. This is not an awful lot of milk and cream, yeah? Maybe yes. half a cup? Maybe half a cup, yes. Okay. So, while we're mixing this, let's uh, tell our viewers a little bit about kunafa. Kunafa is a traditional Middle Eastern dessert made with shredded phyllo pastry or alternatively fine semolina dough soaked in sweet sugar based syrup and typically layered with cheese or with other ingredients such as clotted cream or nuts yes. depending on the region yes. and the place of origin was the Middle East. Yes. Great. So Amna, you are, are you into savory cooking savory food as well? Yes, I do. And uh, what are you really good at? Uh, pizza. Okay. And uh, Alfredo, Alfredo pasta mm -hmm. and uh, so many other uh, That's so stuff. For iftar or for sehri, what would you recommend? You know, give us some ideas. Give the viewers some ideas. So if you if you need healthy food, so uh, cereal is best for mm -hmm. you. So you can add a lot of nuts in it. So mm -hmm. for the whole day, uh, you don't have to feel lethargic. You don't feel hungry, yeah. Yes, you don't have to feel hungry and lethargic mm -hmm. both mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So you can take... Uh, Cereal in the morning with a lot of nuts as well. Dates you have just yeah. mentioned. Yeah. So.
okay now the milk is boiled i'm going to add corn flour in it and stir it you can add the corn flour. okay there are so many variations hmm. if you don't have to make this uh, this one mixture uh you can simply add ricotta cheese okay actually uh, the kanafa is made up of simply filling of ricotta cheese mm -hmm. and mozzarella and ricotta mix as well and wow. this is again a cream cheese mixture because uh, ricotta is like hardly available or if it is available in pakistan so it's very expensive yeah. so mozzarella is easy okay, to access okay so we add mozzarella cheese at this uh, stage of uh, the cooking i'm going to add cream cheese okay great. okay over here i'm use philadelphia if mm -hmm. you if you don't have philadelphia so you can add uh, puck cream cheese oh, yeah, yeah. and that happy that. cow cream cheese that is easily available in market so you have so many alternatives okay now i'm going to put corn flour you need to quickly stir it So that so there should be no lumps. lumps. Yes. You know, Amna, what we women do at home is we add corn flour, we add lots of water, and you know the mixture doesn't thicken. I think yes, this happens yes, all yes. the time. So any actually, suggestions? It, it should be like uh, ratio should be one ratio two. Yeah. The one water ratio. should not be more okay. than corn flour. Okay. That's why it takes time. Okay. Meanwhile, you are stirring it. I'm going to add cream cheese. Mm-hmm. So it wow. will give a rich nice flavor. Rich. Yes. Yes. Wow. This you can make when you have guests over. Guests over, it's very quick. Okay, if if you are using a, a vermicelli at yeah. home, so you need to cook it in a butter. Okay. Okay, so then you will make a layer at the bottom and okay. at top. Okay. Okay. So now so, you can see it's yeah. a thick one. Yeah. It's becoming thick yes. and beautiful. Wow. Yes. So, uh, like she said, if you can't find the phyllo shredded phyllo pastry. You can add um, the vermicelli. Yes. And uh, you can first cook it in butter, roast it in butter, and then add it. Okay, okay. So it's done. You can see the texture. See? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to switch off the flame. Let it get cool down for one to two minutes, and then I'm going to add. the secret ingredient that is the rose water give it a aromatic touch mm. yeah the aroma is amazing especially when you're fasting you really um, you know every every aroma every sensation is enhanced it's now see it's a mayo my, mayo texture yeah, see, yeah. see it's beautiful so it's like easy to like pour it in between uh, the bed of like uh, fellow sheets yeah so what's the second step now okay now i'm go i have prepared a pan so you can see the pan hmm. i'm going to uh, set these fellow sheets So I'm going to make a bed of this fellow sheets. Okay, okay. Okay. So it will be like this. You need to cover it. You need to cover the bottom of the pan. Again, if you are not having this one, you can use vermicelli. See. Just like a nest. Where we have to cover the base because I need to put this better, so it should not leak out. It should stay in the middle. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Now that's done. Okay, I'm going to put this better in the middle because when we are going to cut it. so the the mixture when when it will come out so the mixture should remain in between so it will look more nice okay okay you you can see the consistency of the yeah, mixture yeah. it's not too much thick it's not too much liquidy yeah 
and we are going to bake this uh, yes we are going to bake it So if you've just tuned in and you're wondering what is um, uh, Chef Amna making, uh, she's making kunafa. Uh, I'll just do a quick recap. She added milk, sugar, uh, mixed it well, added corn flour. You added cream also. Yes. Um, cream so and you add, cream cheese both. Yeah. So you add milk, sugar, cream, mix it well, and then you add the corn flour. Yes. Right. And then you cream add cheese. in the cream cheese. So it's going to have a nice thick. Uh, Feel to it. Yes. And then uh, at the base, you line it with the, the shredded phyllo uh, sheet. Yes. And then you top it with the the, the mixture that we made, the kunafa mixture. And then you again top it with the phyllo. Yes. So see, I have covered it properly. Yeah. Now it is going in oven. And uh, you can bake it at. Uh, bake it at 200 and for how many for how long 20 to 25 minutes okay, because good. I just need a goldish brown crust okay okay so you're gonna let go to it, the oven yes yeah. let it put it in the oven uh, she's back okay, now see and this is how it's, it's going to look like it's a beautiful golden uh, crust of uh, shredded vermicelli yes. sorry phyllo uh, pastry and uh, it looks beautiful. The presentation is amazing. Yes. I love the way you use flowers in yes. your desserts. Thank you so much. Just as that feminine touch to it. Only women can do that. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you so much, Amna. Thank you so much. And uh, I can't wait to taste this. Of course, after uh, iftar, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much, Amna. I had an amazing time learning such amazing recipes. Uh, these chefs are so busy, yeah, making iftar at the hotel. Thank you once Thank again. Thank you so much for inviting me on your show. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We made kunafa and we made uh, umayali, two amazing uh, desserts. Uh, of course, your family is going to love uh, you for taking uh, time out and, and making this for them. You know, it just uh, adds more love. Um, that's what Ramadan is all about. Uh, it's all about bonding and it's all about sharing. And it's not only about your family. Do not forget your neighbors and extend it outwards. Uh, the poor, you know, make sure um, if, you, if, if you have not formed the habit, it's never too late. Start at Ramzan and carry this out forever. Because uh, when you spend in the way of Allah, Allah gives you 10 times more. And that's His promise. So I'm going to catch you tomorrow with another new episode and uh, some amazing new recipes. Till then, Take care of yourself, Allah Hafiz.